Welcome to Career Guidance Max Playlist. In this video, I am going to start first semester Max paper common to all affiliated colleges from Anna University. That is MA3151 Matrices at Calculus. In this, I am going to start first Unit 1 Matrices. So, in this matrices, we will have uh, several sections uh, characteristic equation. Eigen values and eigen vectors and eigen values and eigen vector based on problem properties and Kelly Hamilton theorem, diagonalization of matrices and a reduction of a quadratic form to canonical form by orthogonal transformation and the nature of quadratic forms. End of this unit, you will have applications also how to apply eigen values and eigen vectors for solving stretching of elastic membrane. So before going to start, first you should know what is characteristic equation. So this characteristic equation plays an uh, important role while solving problems in this matrices. Okay. So this is very very important. First we have to form characteristic equation. If can be able to form a characteristic equation, no? then we can find eigenvalues and eigenvectors. If you know how to form eigenvalues, no? we can be able to find based on that eigenvectors and uh, Kelly Hamilton theorem. So every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. If it is solved this one now, it is a Kelly Hamilton theorem. We prove and uh, diagonalization of matrices. If you know eigenvalues and eigenvectors, now we can be able to solve uh, extension of diagonalization of matrices. And uh, quadratic equation we are converting into matrix and solving by orthogonal transformation that is reduction of quadratic form to canonical form by orthogonal transformation and final section in this unit uh, nature of quadratic forms the basic things we can uh, identify after uh, forming orthogonal transformation we can write the nature of quadratic forms and applications okay so first I'm going to start characteristic equation this one is very very important okay so, how to find the characteristic equation for a given matrix? So, you will have here uh, 2 rule, 2 cross 2 matrix and uh, 3 cross 3 matrix. Before that, the characteristic equation, general term, we can write determination of A minus lambda i is equal to 0. This is our uh, characteristic equation. But usually, we are not going to uh, apply this formula. Uh, instead of that, we are taking here... Uh, these two methods 2 cross 2 matrix and 3 cross 3 matrix first we see what is 2 cross 2 matrix characteristic equation so in 2 cross 2 matrix you will have characteristic equation lambda square minus s1 lambda plus s2 equal to 0 so first we have to write this equation from this equation we have to find what is s1 s2 what is s1 sum of bain diagonal elements or trace of a so in your problem they will give one matrix whether it is a 2 by 2 matrix means yes one we can find based on sum of main diagonal elements or trace of a we can call it. while doing problem you can understand what it is and s2 is determination of a and one more model here 3 cross 3 matrix the characteristic equation is lambda cube minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus 3 equal to 0. Here uh, we can find uh, this S1, S2, S3 based on these conditions. S1 we can find already you know that uh, sum of the main diagonal elements from your matrix or we can take a trace of A. Nothing but trace of A now we have to add a diagonal elements. That's it from that matrix. And S2 this one is a new one important one. S2 is equal to sum of the minus of the main diagonal elements. I will explain in the problems. Okay. And S3, we can find uh, determination of A. The given matrix, directly we can take determination. So, you will get the answers. Okay. I will take first problem. The first problem is, uh, find the characteristic equation and uh, eigenvalue of the given matrix. So here 
I will tell you how to find your uh, characteristic equation and together eigen values also in a single sum. For example, here you may take 1 2 by 2 matrix. Here I taken 2 by 2 matrix. Consider that is A matrix. 1 2 0 2 which is 2 cross 2 matrix. If it is 2 cross 2 matrix means the characteristic equation can take the characteristic equation lambda square minus s1 lambda plus s2 equal to 0 okay so here how to find this s1 s1 usually we are writing sum of the diagonal elements or trace of a trace of a means nothing but in your uh, 2 by 2 matrix diagonal elements we can add 1 plus 2 you will get s1 equal to 3 so which is first one s1 and then uh, find s2 s2 equal to determination of a so here a matrix is 1 2 0 2 take determination you will get 1 into 2 2 and minus 0 into 2 0 when taking determination first one cross multiply second one minus of these two values okay the procedure so you will get s2 equal to 2 now we know s1 and s2 both values you can substitute in your uh, characteristic equation 1 this is equation 1 so from equation 1 I'm going to substitute this s1 and uh, s2 I will get lambda square minus s1 equal to 3 lambda plus s2 equal to 2 is equal to 0. So which is our characteristic equation for this 2 by 2 matrix problem. Okay. So up to this we formed characteristic equation. After this we are going to find eigen value. How to find eigen value? After finding characteristic equation, based on this characteristic equation, we can be able to find eigen values. So this characteristic equation is quadratic equation because 2 by 2 matrix. So we have to simplify this equation. You will get 2 matrix, 2 roots here because of lambda square minus 3 lambda plus 2 equal to 0 is a quadratic equation. Quadratic equation you will have 2 roots. So how to find the values of eigen values? So here in this equation last term constant you can take 2. Which 2 number can we multiply it gives 2. And here I will have minus 3. Which 2 number when we add it gives minus 3. Commonly we have to write. So I will take minus 1 minus 2. Multiply this 2 you will get 2. Add this 2 you will get this minus 3 so that your root value is we can write linear factor lambda minus 1 lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 equating to 0 you will get lambda equal to 1 and lambda equal to 2 is this your uh, eigen values so this is the procedure for finding eigen values and characteristic equation for uh, 2 by 2 matrix okay so next we can see one more problem in 3 by 3 matrix. Again we are going to find a characteristic equation and eigen values. The given matrix I am taking A. A is equal to 2 minus 3, 1, 3, 1, 3 and minus 5, 2, minus 4. Okay. This is another matrix we taken from 3 by 3. So the characteristic equation for uh, 3 by 3 matrix the characteristic equation we can take that is lambda q minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus s3 equal to 0 based on this characteristic equation we have to find s1 s2 s3 already we know how to find s1 s1 equal to trace of a 
trace of A. Trace of A means nothing but in your uh, matrix you can add uh, diagonal elements 2, 1, minus 4. So I'm writing 2 plus 1 minus 4. I will get S1 equal to minus 1. Now I am going to find S2. So already we know S2 equal to we have to write sum of minus of sum of minus of main diagonal elements. That is I am writing here see your uh, matrix here based on diagonal elements we have to find uh, minor values that means cofactors so if I am taking first diagonal element 2 means omit this row and this column rest of the value you can write in determinant form 1 3 2 minus 4 I am writing here 1 3 2 minus 4 in determinant form sum of the minus so plus next one I am taking second uh, diagonal element 1 that means this row entire row and the entire column I can omit I will get 2 1 minus 5 minus 4 again I am writing in determinant form 2 1 minus 5 and minus 4 and plus third diagonal element minus 4 this row and column omit we will get 2 minus 3 3 1 2 minus 3 3 1 again write in determination form now simplify this So 1 minus 4 minus 4 2 into 3 6 minus 6 first term and plus 2 into minus 4 minus 8 1 into minus 5 minus 5 already minus so plus 5 and here 2 into 1 2 3 into minus 3 minus 9 already minus in our formula so plus 9. So when we simplifying this, we will get minus 10 plus 3 plus 11. Minus 8 plus 5, you will get minus 3. And 2 plus 9, 11. So simplify this. Minus 10 minus 3 plus 11. Minus 13 plus 11, you will get minus 2. So S2 is equal to minus 2. So this is the procedure for finding sum of minus of main diagonal elements. So based on diagonal elements you can find minus. Only use that diagonal elements you can find three values of minus. And S3 S3 equal to we can find determination of A. We know what is that A? Determination of 2 minus 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, minus 5, 2, minus 4. And determination of A means I will take row wise 2 of this row, this column remaining minus 4 into 1, minus 4. 2 into 3 6 minus 6 minus half second element minus 3 and this column and row so 3 minus 4 minus 12 and minus 5 into 3 minus 15 already formula minus so plus 15 and formula plus 1 this column this row omit and uh, cross multiply this 3 into 2 6 minus 5 into 1 minus 5 already minus in our formula so minus and minus plus 5 so simplify this minus 4 minus 6 minus 10 into 2 minus 20 minus into minus uh, minus 12 into 15 plus 3 minus into minus plus so 9 and 6 plus 5, 11, 11 to 1, 11, plus 11, 11 plus 9, 20, 20 minus 20, S3 equal to 
0. So now we can substitute S1 and S2 and S3 in our uh, characteristic equation. So we will get lambda cube. Here we can substitute uh, S1 equal to minus 1 means minus and minus plus plus lambda square and uh, S2 is minus 2 you can write minus 2 lambda and uh, S3 is 0 so this term equal to 0 you will get lambda cube minus la plus lambda square minus 2 lambda this is your uh, characteristic equation so after based on this characteristic equation we can solve we can find a eigen vector so in your characteristics equation last term will be completed in lambda form so from this equation i am taking lambda outside i'll write lambda square plus lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 okay so from this we can able to find uh, Eigen values equating to 0, one value lambda equal to 0, another value lambda square plus lambda minus 2 equal to 0. Again, here you can take minus 2, which two number multiply gives minus 2. I will take here 1 and 2. When multiplying these two, it gives plus 2, but we need a minus 2. So here I am putting minus, minus 1 into 2 you will get minus 2, when adding these two you will get plus 1, that is lambda. So you will get lambda minus 1, lambda plus 2 is equal to 0. So that here lambda equal to minus 1, plus 1 and lambda is equal to minus 2. You will get already one element is 0. So that your eigen values are lambda equal to 0, lambda equal to 1 and lambda equal to minus 2. So this is your uh, eigen values. Okay. So in this video we seen uh, how to form a characteristic equation uh, based on given matrix. So you will have two model 2 by 2 matrix and 3 by 3 matrix for forming characteristic equation based on this characteristic equation we solved uh, two problem one problem in uh, 2 by 2 matrix we solved uh, and another problem in 3 by 3 matrix we solved so together we completed in this video how to form characteristic equation and how to find eigen values okay thank you pa